Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Academia. Bring the first period is beginning. Two absence, uh, two absence, two absence are due to sickness. No, two students are absent due to sickness, which is fine. We can deal with that. Uh, we are setting up a new area of our <coughs> prison, if you know what I mean. Um, no, our classrooms here. Uh, hopefully, we can get like a room built in here, and then more this way. It'll be really cool if we can. Um, our freshman classrooms, though, how big are these? They are 11 wide, so if we go 11 that way... Eesh, okay, so it means we'd have to go to, like, there. Which kind of sucks. Because if we go for the other side, how big are these classrooms? These are 6 wide, so we'd have to go 7 across like that. Like that, like that. That is essentially going to be the, the new sort of footprint of our school. And if we can get it done in two days, then that would be awesome. How wide is this classroom? 13. And how wide is this? 12. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a little bit annoying. It means that we can we can add like another sophomore classroom in here, but it's just going to be slightly smaller, which is a little bit annoying. But then how wide is this bit? 16. Eesh. Okay. So I could just split the freshman classrooms up into like an extra one. That might be doable, actually. But would we be able to do it over the course of a day? Probably not. I'd have to like build a classroom, transfer the teacher over to it while I rebuild the next classroom. That's possible to be fair. Let's try that. Let's try and figure that out. So how long are these rooms in total? 40. Take away 2 for the walls in between leaves you with 38 which doesn't go into 3, which is a bit annoying. It would go into 13, 13, and 12. If the closest one to be 12, so we'd need a wall there, then, no, maybe the middle one should be 12, just because I'm, it has to be even like that. Okay, um, 13, so a room there, or a wall there even, 12, so we'd need a wall there, then that would be 13 as well, sweet. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to build a wall there, and that will be a classroom, which will be fine. Okay. Then we need to build another classroom into there, which means we have to knock out this wall for now. And you know what? Let's just, for now, build in this outer wall too. And that one. Do they have access to that? I think they might. Let's just go for it and see what happens. <laughs> Um, and we can get some more classrooms in here, or maybe... Oh, if I build more classrooms, I'm going to have to expand the canteen. I didn't think about that. Maybe if I just expand the canteen up to this wall, um, and then just have the, the two new classrooms there, that's probably going to be all we can do, actually. That's a bit of a shame. Um, okay, well, we'll see how it goes. A bit annoying that we can't expand the... Well, that we have to expand the canteen. Hang on, hang on, no. We have to expand the canteen. How many did I say last time? We had 96. Uh, 8 times by 12 is 96, yeah. And then if we've got how many seats in this classroom? Um, 5, 15, so that's 30. Um, and then we've got like 30, 30, which is 60. Another 30 there, which is like 90. So yeah, if I do add two more classrooms, I'm going to have to expand the canteen. Which is a little bit annoying, but oh well, we have to do it, so let's do it. Let's not complain about what we have to do, let's just get on with it. Okay. If As soon as we demolish this wall, the canteen is going to say that it's no longer a, a place, so we need to be very aware of that. Let's demolish this wall, and this one. You know, if I kept that there and I just split that in two, I could just have two small freshman plants. No, 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 let's keep this idea. This idea is going to work, so let's go for it. Um, okay, so, doo -doo 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 -doo. the door for this classroom is probably going to have to go there, and then we can start fleshing it out. How much longer have we got? Day after tomorrow. Sheesh. Okay, uh, let's get this wall in as well. Yeah, like that. And put down the concrete tiles, like so. That was a really weird noise the game just made. Uh, okay, Ob object classroom. Let's get the chalkboard in. Uh, right in the middle. Office table at the back with the chair. Then we'll go student chair. 
and plonk them all in. Oops, 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 please don't put those ones there, thank you. So we should be able to get the same number of chairs in, or have I messed up? Oh yeah, I think I've messed up. This one was a little bit smaller, wasn't it? Which is fine, because we can we can say that's a sophomore classroom as well. So we'll have three freshmen, two sophomores, one junior, one senior. And that guy is now stuck forever. Which is fine, because we can actually demolish this wall and turn that into the uh, canteen, so or cafeteria. Uh, I can fit a table in, which is great. Let's put those in. And all of the benches too. Uh, the day's nearly over. Or is it? Yeah, the day's nearly over. Okay, do it like that. Uh, why is that? <gasps> Am I out of money? I'm not out of money. Oh, because I've already put something there. Huh, <laughs> dummy. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm getting a little bit anxious actually about this this whole situation about the the, the, the classrooms, but you can only do what you're capable of doing. So that, that makes no sense. Let's grab our classroom again. We need to add a new classroom in here. I'm actually going to flip it around though. Um, so the chalkboard is there, as is the chair. And then we'll bring the student chairs in. Um, so how do these ones go? These ones just go like one, one, one. And then like this. Ah, uh, that fits. Although I don't know how many chairs we've actually got here. Are they all being dismissed? Yes, they are. Uh, so there's a row of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-one extra so uh, freshmen. Twenty-one. There we go. We're going to get a lot of extra money from this. Which is going to be great. It's going to be able to pay for all the staff and everything. Hopefully they can get that built. They'll get everything built in a single day. Oh boy. We'll see if this is even doable. Uh, the cafeteria, oh yeah, so, wait, what are they doing? Um, we need to uh, delete the cafeteria and then add it back in. I really don't like how you have to do that, but oh well, we'll get over it. Okay, homeroom time. Yeesh. It's going to be difficult switching room to room. I thought it would take less time than it has, um, but obviously because I've had to do this entire area again, little bit sucky. Oh wait, I need to actually zone that as a room, don't I? Because that one's done, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, classroom in there. Zone edit. That's going to be another sophomore class. Okay. And then we can put in our concrete tiles. Do, do I want to waste my time putting concrete tiles in? Probably do. Okay, they're adding in that, which is great. Now you're stuck forever. <laughs> okay, let's demolish this wall. Um, and see if that stops it from being a classroom. Because if it does, I think I'm actually okay with it. Oh, it doesn't. Interesting. So I can slowly move everything over. Uh, say the chalkboard. Put the chalkboard there. The office table. Put that there. And that chair in as well. Um, if we grab the door, we can put the door in. Yes. Everything's sliding over. Oh wow, but it's the fact that I'm going to have to demolish some of the chairs, which is going to really suck. We also need to concrete tile in here as well. And in here. It's getting tight. It's looking a bit ugly at the moment, and hopefully I can fix that, but yeah, it's, it's looking tight. Uh, three students are... Wait, hang on. Are we definitely getting them tomorrow? We are. Jeez, okay. So we need to hire our teachers. So, teachers. Um, <laughs> lead, a, lead a pile. Lead a pilly. I don't know. Uh, wait, are you like a PE teacher or something? That looks really weird. Or is it because you... I don't know. You look nice and fancy. You can be our cool senior room. Oh. Your school ran out of money and had to be closed down. Okay. What? <laughs> Is it because I... What? There was no warning? Nothing? Can I reload an autosave? And see... 
Oh, man. What? Okay, so I managed to load up the correct autosave. I didn't realize they went from a... Uh, the, the the closest one was nearer the bottom of the list, which was a bit bizarre. Um, and I got things relatively close to where they were before. The only thing I haven't done is, like, concrete laid down everything. Turns out that the staff member I wanted, uh, the teacher there, she was... Um, how much was she? Like, 5,900, which, yeah, did take me under budget. Oh, man, it's, it's all these... It's all these staff members we got at the moment, and probably the water and electricity as well, I don't know. But it means that at the end of today, or well, the beginning of tomorrow, we're going to get um, uh, 30,000 immediately. We're also going to get our... wait, student, what school expansion? Reach 50 students, okay. Yeah, we're also going to get all of our intake, which is going to be insane. We're going to get loads of students. The only thing is, I can't hire anyone until the day starts. It's now dismissal. Um, people are still hanging around school, which is kind of weird. I wouldn't. Like, as soon as I got dismissed, I'd go home. <laughs> 101 transferee students are coming tomorrow. I am both nervous and excited. <laughs> it means we're going to have to do the whole rejigging the freshman thing. Um, but we will see how things go. Please go home, sir. <clears throat> Please go home. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully... Oh man, I still don't know when like the school year ends because it would it'd be great if we could do stuff between the this year and the next, you know. Okay, they've all been dismissed. They're all going home. It's seven o'clock, which means as soon as they go off the map, and there we go. Should be the next day. All oh, right. Please give me money. They didn't give me money. Why not? Have the have the students not? The students are coming in today, but I don't get the money yet? What? Okay, I'm nervous. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we just got the money. So, we need to, like, immediately... Hi, you. I wanted you to be the senior... No. I wanted you to be the... Yep, did I get you? No. Okay, yeah, I think I got you. Yeah, you're there now. Good. Uh, okay, we need another one. Although, apparently I didn't. That's a bit weird. Going to rest. I can have duplicate staff members, apparently. Uh, let's get Otis. He can be our cool junior guy. No, apparently I can't get you. Um, Otis, higher. In the junior classroom. No? Put you there. No? Um, okay. What if I go to zones, zone edit, edit classroom. Can I not assign a teacher? No. Okay. Do I have to be playing? Is that what it is? Game? Game want to work? Otis, higher. Put him down anywhere? Can't hire. Oh, that's a lot of students. That's a lot of students. Um, okay, so I can't seem to hire anyone. That's bad. Hire new. I want you. Okay, I'm going to try and, like, save my game and back out and see if I can fix this. I'll be right back. I think I broke the game. Oh, there's noises. Okay. Ah, I can hire people again. There we go, that's working. Okay, so how many do I need in total? I need, whoa, zoom in. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I've just hired two. Um, oh, you look, you look awesome. You're definitely being hired. Three. Um, let's find some more. Uh, oh, Sergeant Novak, yes. You are gonna kick those freshmen into shape. <laughs> okay, and oh, I want you with a top hat. Oh, that's a bit annoying. And let's go for Peter Green. Okay, so now that we've got our our teachers, we need to assign them all. So, uh, yeah, you. I'm going to assign uh, Sergeant Novak to that freshman class. Uh, the senior classroom was going to be you. Because you look... No, no, no. Seniors, seniors get Midrout Stowe. Definitely Midrout Stowe. 
we've got two juniors. Um, so let's go for uh, Peter Green. You know, once you're this, you once you go to junior, you you get Peter, the chill out uh, PE guy. Who probably doesn't know what he's talking about. And then you get really boring people in sophomore. You get her, and then you get him. All right, to do list. Grants. Apply for that one. Uh, how many students do we have? 130. Let's just apply for these ones then and get loads of money. Boom! How about that? Okay. So we have the bank now, which is great. And I think we managed to fix that in time. <laughs> I think. I've got a feeling our cafeteria is tiny. I've got a feeling that our library and club rooms are tiny. We're going to have to expand those. Um, and I've also got a feeling that I should have planned this out a lot better. Oops, I want to do that and go up there like this. Now that we've got money again, we can put the concrete floor in. Sheesh, that was pretty insane. Okay, here's the test though. Did my ghetto, the whole um, hiring the teacher things just before classes start work? Or have I really messed things up? No, Sergeant Novak is in there and he is teaching the freshmen. That is crazy. Everyone's learning and stuff, which is great. But we got a couple of students here which are which are not in the right or well, not here. Oh they're all just they're all just playing hooky. Game is being a bit slow, but that's fine. Probably because we're building stuff. Um, let's try and put in these lockers. Because those lockers look really cool. We've got a bulletin board as well. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's put a bulletin board up in there. Um Bookshelves. Oh, that's for the library, isn't it? Benches? We got benches? Oh, that's pretty cool. We can have benches outside. Um, at this point now, I'm just sort of seeing what we can do rather than doing stuff. Uh, refrigerator stuff. The uh, the kitchen. Okay, windows? Wow, I didn't even notice we had windows and a water fountain right next to a trash can. Yeah. Okay. But the one thing I want to do is I want to put lockers in and see how that makes our corridor look. Uh, we'll leave that room there sort of uh, unlockered and put like loads of lockers in because if we have lockers it makes it feel like an all-American high school and trust me I'm an expert when it... no not really I, I, I have no idea about high schools. <laughs> let's go like that and then let's have lockers like lining this bit which is gonna make the the corridor here look a bit smaller uh, but that should be fine. Obviously this is gonna change because it's a bit skew if at the moment, but let's put in all these lockers and see if students actually use them. That's the main thing. I want to see if students use these lockers. Let's put it in that corridor there and see what happens. Now, this episode might be going on a bit long. I've had to make a lot of cuts, especially when I ran out of money. But we are getting it. We're now up to like $5,000 a day, which is great. It means we can save up ready for... Um, do I have enough cafeteria tables now? I don't even know. I've now got 16 times 8, which is 64 times 2, which is 128. I'm, technically, I'm three seats down for the cafeteria, but that's fine, I guess. You know what we should do as well? Uh, we should probably make it so that we've got more doors for accessing the cafeteria. Uh, maybe like there and there. I think that, yeah. That's why I left room in the lockers there. Uh, but technically, you know, each of these lockers has four lockers in it, so... Oh my goodness, at the amount of janitor work we need to do in the cafeteria. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need to expand our cafeteria, not our cafeteria, we need to expand our can uh, janitor room. You know what, I'm thinking this has been a great test uh, for our, like our first school. We've sort of seen how things work. Um, do you guys want to see me start again? A uh, fresh school, kind of like a series two kind of deal, um, except a little bit more maybe planned out. <laughs> Not a big fan of these lockers facing away from the wall, actually. Yeah, maybe a little bit more planned out, um, a little bit more sort of infrastructure behind it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, but other than that, this has been a very interesting learning curve. <laughs> Look at all of the footprints everywhere, it's disgusting. Alright, yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you think I should uh, carry on or if you think I should uh, just stop. 
and start again, or if you're just not interested in the series whatsoever. Um, I personally, I kind of want to carry on going and uh, do a new school with this in mind. Um, maybe start off with like splitting things up a little bit differently. Uh, oh, fi final exams are currently ongoing. Okay, interesting. Grade B. Okay. Uh, how come most of your students failed? If you have high, so most of our freshmen passed. Okay, this is interesting. These these ones here are probably lower because, um, because we've uh, oh, what's the word? <laughs> these ones are probably lower because of the uh, we've only just got the students in. But hey, not bad. Student results. Oh, okay. So we can see how many of each students failed and passed. Evaluation. B and B. Okay, and then oh, then we got a button for the next school year. Oh, okay. Are they all going to come into school? Or this will be interesting to know. Very interesting. Oh, eight thousand. Why have we got more money? Um. I. Why are we getting more money? Staff wages. I don't know. Teacher worker. Is it because we're getting more money because of our grade? I am very interested to find out. Hmm. But anyway, like I said, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Our students are all going off to, off to class again. And I will see you all in the next one, potentially. We'll find out, I guess. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.